once again to Arcade Sunday School. I'm Pastor Esther and today I'm here with two special guests. They'll tell you who they are. Hi, my name is called Faraji, if you don't know me. Let me go to the other one, please. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sifa. And you know what? Sifa is going to pray for us. So let's put our hands together, close our eyes, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this Sunday, hoping that we'll understand what you've been taught today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Sifa. Boys and girls, you know what? Last week, we were done with Bible ABCs for our discovery. But, you know, I had to really think about it and came up with a new discovery for us. And it's called, It's All About Jesus. So you see, this is what happened. Jesus was with the Pharisees one time. And they were pretending they really know the Bible. And he told them, do you know, this Bible all points to me. So that's why we're calling it, it's all about Jesus. So let me tell you how it points to Jesus. Let me ask these good people who are here with me. Do you know the story of Adam? Yes. What happened? Yeah, I, me, for me, mm -hmm. I know that. Well, uh, when God created Adam, mm -hmm. uh, they were very innocent. Mm -hmm. Then God told them they can eat any fruit, mm -hmm. any fruit they can. They can eat any fruit apart from the tree in the center, mm -hmm. and that tree was called. It was the forbidden tree. Mm -hmm. Now, Adam. Uh, he, that a snake, a certain came to me, came to the garden of Eden as a form of a snake. Mm -hmm. Then he, she found she he found Eve. Mm -hmm. Then he, he lied to Eve that this tree, this fruit, when you eat it, you'd be like God. Then Eve ate it. Then when Eve ate it, the, then he. Eve took it to Adam, then Adam, then Adam ate it. Then God, the, God told them, God punished them, and they told them to never come back in the Garden of Eden. So, they sinned, yeah? But they came into the world pure and innocent. But we have one person who came into the world pure and innocent, and remained pure and innocent. And when he died on the cross, he took all our sins. So you can see where Adam didn't do right, Jesus came and did right. The next person we're going to know about is Abel. Can you tell us a bit about Abel? So Abel was a very innocent person. He was very pure, but the brother uh -huh. healed him uh -huh. and he died. And he died just like Jesus died for our sins. But in this time, his blood saved us. We cannot be saved by the blood of Abel. <laughs> the next person, and we're not gonna have a long story, Faraj. Do you know Noah? Yes. What happened with Noah? Noah, mm -hmm. he was an innocent person, but God, the other people were not innocent, mm -hmm. they, they were, very, they were evil, they were disobeying God. Yeah. Now God uh, wanted to, uh, then God wanted to punish them. So before he punished them, because mm -hmm. Noah was innocent, uh, then he told Noah to build an ark. Mm -hmm. When Noah was building an ark, people were making fun of him. <laughs> the, uh, people were making fun of him, laughing at him. Mm -hmm. Then. Uh, then, when what they happened? Were in, huh? Was there a flood? Yeah, there was a flood. Were they saved? Yeah, they were saved. They were saved. That's one of the point I wanted us to get to. That Noah, one person, one family, saved mankind from being going into extinction. And today we have our Savior Jesus, who has saved the whole world. Yeah, by dying for us and saving us. Is that not a good story? Yes. Yes, so now you can is. see those three stories all point to Jesus. Yes. Yes. So next time, we're going to learn about three more people and how they point to Jesus. 
the stories in the Bible all point to Jesus. So we thank you so much for joining us for Intro and Discovery. But we're going somewhere next. Praise and worship. Yes, and who is going to be there? Teacher, Pastor Vivian. Uh -huh. Um, me, yes, Faraji, yes, Zaira, yes, and Shani. Oh, so, well just to join us, yeah, that would be yes. amazing. And what do we have after praise and worship? After praise and worship, we have fun, it's fun time. No, yeah, it's a class, yeah, it's a class. <laughs> And yeah, yes. we're going to learn a bit of something, but we're coming back, yeah? And yeah. we're coming back to do what? Fun time! Yes, so wait, come and join us for fun, fun time. time. So in the meantime, join them for praise and worship. See you in a bit. Muya. We have a memory verse. John chapter 15 verse 16. It says, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that we last. And then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Amen. Bye. Hi, my name is Seth Javali Abira. I'm seven years old and I'm born again and I have a memory verse. Thank you. John chapter 15 verse 16. The Bible says, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that fruit should remain. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, he he may give you. Thank you. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm excited once again to be here this Sunday morning with you. You know, I love just praising God and just dancing for Him. And I'm happy once again to be with Shani, Sifa, Faraji and Zaira. And once again, we have our amazing band, Gideon, Michelle, and Tito. Join us with your whole family. Let's praise God until the heavens come down.
kwa ko of belief I am a winner and not a loser I am a victor and not a victim I have changed my mind and my attitude to reflect what God says about me my faith is built on God's word I can do all that God says I can do Nothing is impossible from this moment on for I am a new breed a new kind a remnant and I am after my purpose yeah Good morning, 
boys and girls, and welcome to our Our Kids Breakfast Show. This is where we have great conversations with great figures in history. And when I talk about history, today we'll be looking at someone who was still chosen by God, which is still our theme for the month. And without further ado, I am your host, Teacher Bonnie, and I am with... Kobe! Good morning, boys and girls. I'm super excited that you're here with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Kobe. And boys and girls at home, I would like you to join me in welcoming our special guest for today. And our special guest, his story can be found in the book of Acts, chapter 9, from verse 1 to 30. So I would like to introduce him as he comes in. He is uh, from the first century AD. He is a scholar, a businessman. Uh, he's a letter writer and missionary extraordinary soul. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, soul, to the show. Thank you, but you, you can call me Paul. <laughs> yes, Kobe. Have something to say. Yes. It doesn't look blind. Hey, Kobe, you wait and listen to his story. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, you're welcome, soul. Uh, you can call me Paul. Oh, uh, well, mm. in my notes here, it says that your name is Saul. Well, technically it is, but uh, I prefer Paul. Well, that's mm. weird. Before we hear about your dramatic conversion, mm -hmm. let us hear a little bit about yourself. Yes, please tell us what you mm. were like as a child. Well, uh, I was born to Jewish parents uh, from the tribe of Benjamin. And... Uh, from an early age, I was taught about just going to learn about God, about his word and everything else that has to do with that. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. You know, even my parents taught me about God when I was a baby. Did you go to school? Yes. Uh, when I grew up a little, my parents took me to a school and I studied under this uh, great teacher. His name is Gamaliel. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, Gamaliel and was my teacher. And um, what did you learn? Well, I was taught about the laws of God, how to live to please Him, and about how to live my life in order to fulfill what uh, the Word of God says about me and about uh, life, and also about the coming Messiah. Mm. Oh, okay, so your childhood is not different from mine. You know mm. what? I also read the Bible, I learn about Jesus and I try to obey God's commandments. Mm. And you know what also? I mm. play to, and mm. go to the mall and eat. Did you go to the mall? <laughs> <laughs> well, there were no malls during our time. We just went to the streets and the highways and played in the byways. No malls? Mm. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so after your education, Paul, mm -hmm. what did you do for a living? I became a, what they call a Pharisee. <gasps> A Pharisee teacher. teacher, did you hear that? Yes, I did, Kobe. And you know, Jesus talked about Pharisees. Mm -hmm. They were bad people. They wanted to kill Jesus. Mm. Did you want to kill Jesus? <laughs> so, Paul, mm. before we can hear more about your story, let us take a commercial break. Welcome back, boys and girls. Before we went on our commercial break, Apostle Paul was telling us about his childhood. And now we want to hear his life about how he was as a Pharisee. So, Paul, mm -hmm. continue telling us your story. Well, well, well it's interesting what Kobe says that I, I, I did some bad things. But uh, don't be embarrassed. You know, it's okay. He can ask any questions. He can ask any questions. Uh, yes, but I, as a Pharisee, I did not like Jesus. But uh, let me give you my story. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so when I finished my studies, I went to Jerusalem. I became a Pharisee and I worked very hard there. And uh, then I began to hear stories about uh, the people saying that the Messiah has come back. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I am a very devout uh, believer in uh, uh, Hebraic studies, I, I realized there is something missing here. So I began to inquire what is going on. And finally, we, we talk. 
and I ask for letters and I go to look for these people who are saying that there is people who are calling themselves, uh, what is the name again? Christians, uh, uh, the people of the way. Yeah. So I, I look for them. Yeah. Yes. Interesting that mm -hmm. you actually mentioned Christians. Mm -hmm. It brings me to my next question, Paul. Mm -hmm. I wonder, why did you hate Christians so much? Yes, why did you hate Christians so much? <laughs> no, I, well, I, I don't hate Christians. I, in fact, mm -hmm. I'm a Christian myself. Are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, well, you mentioned that, but mm -hmm. my notes here say that mm -hmm. you, Saul, actually mm -hmm. went about looking for Christians to arrest. Saul well, wants to well, stop them from telling others well, about well, Jesus. Well, let, let me explain something to you here. That is, that is Saul. That's how I say there is Saul and then there is Paul. Saul hated the Christians, but uh, Paul does not. Mm. Wait, wait, mm. wait. Why are you confusing me now? Now there is Paul and there is Saul and there is... Well, well, I well, don't care. Don't you see there is, there is two different people here. There is Saul and then there is Paul. Are they the same person? Well, technically they are the same person. But you see, uh, God loved and knew that I didn't know what was wrong. Uh, and I thought I was fighting for God only to find that I was, uh, how do you say it, fighting against God. And so it is not that I hated them. Uh, the more people believed in Jesus, the more I thought maybe it is good for me to stop this thing because I thought they were wrong and that is not the Messiah. And so that is why I went to the Sanhedrin. I asked them to give me letters and I begin my journey to Damascus to go and arrest these so-called uh, Christians. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, okay. I just want to hear the time about when you went blind. Just ah. tell us that story. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was going down the road of Damascus, uh, breathing all these murderous threats and uh, trying mm. to find every Christian and I had a letter permission to do this. And I get on the way and I see a big light, a big, very big light. And uh, I hear the voice inside the light. I don't know if it is inside or above or around the light, but it says, Soul, soul, why do you persecute me? And I go blind. You see, I knew it, teacher, teacher, I knew it, teacher. I told you you became blind. Teacher, I told you he's blind. <laughs> well, I was blind for a bit, but now I can see. You see, uh, God sent a, a man uh, in, in Damascus, and his name is An Ananias. Anania. Uh, he sent him to me, and uh, he said, God has sent me to help you remove your blindness and so that you can be my servant. And uh, he laid his hands on my head, and something like scales fell off. And I began to see, and therefore I can see now. Eh? <laughs> yeah. oh, yes, wow, yes, that is yes. amazing. Yeah, what an amazing story. Ah, did I tell you I also got baptized oh. after that? And that is, yes. Amazing, mm. amazing. Mm. Is that how you became a Christian? And yes, that is how my name changed from Saul and my story from Saul to Paul. Mm. Okay, mm. so Paul and Saul are the same. You are first Saul. And now you are yes. Paul, teacher. Saul, Saul is the old man and the Paul is okay. the new man. Okay, teacher is called Paul. <laughs> now you understand, Kobe? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, so Paul and Saul are the same person. Yes. So he was converted from who to who, Kobe? Fro he was converted from Saul to, to Paul. Mm. Good. Mm. And so, boys and girls, isn't that an amazing story? And so we're going to do our memory verse which comes from the book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 15. And Kobe and the boys and girls, repeat after me. Acts 9, verse Acts, 15. Acts chapter 9, verse 15. Mm. But the Lord said to Ananias, But the Lord said to Ananias, Do go. Go. This man is my chosen instrument. This man is my chosen instrument. To proclaim my name. To proclaim my name. To the Gentiles. To mm. the Gentiles. And their kings. And their kings. And to the people of Israel. And to the people of Israel. Mm -hmm. And therefore, boys and girls, uh, when I met Jesus on the road to Damascus, I became a different person. Mm -hmm. Saul was no longer there. Paul came in. God is all about changing lives, and uh, 
That's what God did for me. I want to move, I, I started to move from being Saul to becoming Paul. Mm. From arresting Christians to proclaiming Jesus. And everywhere I started going to tell people about Jesus. And I became a missionary. Wait, is that what a missionary is? Mm -hmm. Someone who goes around telling other people about Jesus? Yes, a missionary is somebody who is just an ordinary person who God calls and sends him out to go and tell other people about Jesus. Am I also a missionary? I tell my friends about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kobe. <laughs> and boys and girls, don't go yet. As you see, as Paul was converted and he now accepted Christ as his savior and he lives in his heart. So boys and girls, if anybody of you would like to do the same thing as Paul did, Paul will lead us in that prayer. Amen. Let me lead you in this prayer, boys and girls. If you are there and you want to receive Jesus, say with me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I give my life to you. I give my life and to I you pray and, and I pray that you change me that, that you change, change me make me make me your child your child, child and help me and help me to follow you to follow you from this day on from this day on and to tell others and to tell others about you about you, about you. amen amen, amen. amen. Yay. therefore boys and girls if you've made that prayer, now you are in the family of God. Yay! Teacher, wait, wait. Yes. Let me ask yes. you, if a missionary goes around telling other people mm. about Jesus, mm -hmm. then what do we call a blind man who goes <laughs> around arresting people who are talking about Jesus? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, they don't have a name for that yet. Yeah, maybe <laughs> just call them soul. <laughs> okay. All right. So there you have it, Paul. Mm. Thank you, thank you so thank much you. for coming you on for the show me. today. Mm. It was a pleasure having you on our breakfast show and telling us about your story. It was mm. rather interesting. I hope boys and girls, you enjoyed learning about Saul converted to Paul. Paul. Mm. Yeah, so boys and girls, if you want to learn more about Paul's story, please do that with your parents and you can find that in the book of Acts chapter 9, chapter 22 and chapter 26. Kobe, do you have anything to say before we go? Yes, it's time for offering. Yes. So we'll go to our offering and then we'll see you next time. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye. girls we are back did you see them during praise and worship wasn't that amazing i had such a wonderful time i mean i was sweating when i was dancing you know anyway now we're doing fun time and we're going to learn about this man peter yeah are we ready yes, yes. hey you think they know the bible here we go at home, I hope you're paying attention. Yeah? All right. So, who knows the name of Peter's brother? Uh, is it Matthew? Matthew. No, not Matthew. I mean, was it Andrew? Andrew. Andrew Nan. I thought so. I think he's right. Yeah. <laughs> what is the name of the woman Peter raised from the dead? Do you know that story? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did. Ah. One, I two, remember. Three, no, no, no. Four, oh my god. Five. Time's up. Do. Eh? Dorcas? Have you heard of Dorcas? Oh, Dorcas. Oh, yes. You would think she's your cousin. <laughs> oh, Dorcas. <laughs> How many times did Peter deny Jesus? Before. I know, I know, I know, I know, Oh yes, give me a high five. Uh, social distancing high five. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. In the early days, in the early church days, people brought the sick into the streets and laid them on bed mats so that which part of Peter might fall on them and heal them? Do you know this part? This is a hard story. It's a part of Peter. He would walk. The sun is shining. And what happens when you're walking and the sun is shining? 
There is a the shadow. Hey! Finally. Yeah, finally. Last ah, question. Ah. When following instructions from Jesus, what did Peter find in the mouth of a fish? You are answering. I'm not. No, not. I'm Money. giving you a hint. Is it Money. Money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Okay. Was Peter married or not? Did he have a wife? No. Okay, you say no? Yes. Uh -huh. Do you know her name? Dorcas. Mrs. Peter. Ati Dorcas. <laughs> well done, boys. <laughs> what do we give them? One, two, or three out of five? I'm giving them two. 20%. Of course. Three. Okay, Never three. No. You, you, okay, you say. <laughs> You did really, really, really well. Yeah? Considering I didn't give them leakage of the answers. So you did well. Say, let's clap for ourselves. You're so boys clapping. and girls. I did clap. Yes. Huh? Yes. Now we are happy. So we have come to the end of our lesson today. And I've had so much fun with the children. I want them to come back. Do you want them to come back? Me, I want them to come back. Do you want to come back? Yes. yes. Yeah, I want them to come back. We're going to have so much more fun. Yeah? So, we learned something in Discovery. We learned something in our lesson. And today, we learned that we don't know very much about Peter. So, until next time, who will say the grace for us? Um, who prayed? You prayed. You say the grace. By, By the, the grace, grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the love of our Lord and, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. So it's bye from me, bye from Faraji, bye from Sifa. Until next time, bye. bye.